Yeah, I run a program called Flux, and all it does is that it dims your computer's monitor and it adds a slight tinge of yellow so that it's not as bright at night, and it's just a little better on your eyes, right? Unknown troops are landing there. What is landing here? What are these things? Something wants to keep us out of the planet over there. But unfortunately for them, I mean, we do have... A few space marines right here. And we can also train a few more. Looks like they took out all of our colonists here. That's not very good. But no fear. Looks like we're gonna have to have to land our troops and recolonize this planet. So that should be all good over there. Now that we have privatization and mercantilism, we can start spreading our troops um, onto these uh, planets by using a trade system. Is our empire busy? We're rather done building our ships yet. Got a few more of these hunters. So I think that completes the trade network. All we need to do is actually build the um, the physical uh, trade ships, right? So what I'm going to do here, just I'm going to go to the freighter section and I'm going to build, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten big freighters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven small ones, and that'll essentially be our uh, our trading fleet, really. And what the trading fleet will do is that it'll go to chain, pick up food, and deliver it to the colonies over here on the planets that can't uh, sustain themselves otherwise. Right now we're going to grab a few more techs that'll allow us to build the capital ships, the big old boats of steel that we can just kind of ram into, the, that we can use to like ram things and do all kinds of cool stuff with. In the meantime, we need to get the uh, production here going. And we still need to participate in that war. Ultimately, you we win the game by uh, essentially conquering everybody. Uh, let's see, where are our trade ships? Our trade here, ships are here. So the big ships are going to be on food patrol. Small ships are going to be picking up passengers, really. Now, at the moment, the large transport ships are probably just going to sit here and do nothing for a little while, but that's alright. The main thing is that um, our colonies will be fed. Haran and the other planet won't necessarily have to worry about anything. They can run a food deficit for a little bit of time. Uh, Earth can export some trade so that this planet here can first and foremost build a, uh, let's see, they can build a warehouse first and foremost to store the stuff and a hydroponic food farm so that they can uh, live off of that for a little bit and then after that they'll just be pumped full of uh, full of production for us to use. In the meantime it looks like our... Oh! They decide to go to war, war with us. Well we have our two armories set up here. Space armory. 
And now we have a fully functioning fleet, right? Combat readiness. New uh, technology unlock. Have all of these ships that we can assemble in the solar system. And this is good. This is wonderful. We have a gigantic fleet assembled at Earth now. Now we can actually do some damage and uh, advance onto the Corazine Collective and the Opteris inside the upper portion here. We control a great big alliance network. Our allies have been busy uh, putting up the fight, well, essentially putting up the fight, so now it's our turn to uh, kind of join in. Uh, for now, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Build a few more hounds. Build a few more of these uh, corvettes that we've been using. Yeah, that's it. Just build a few more ships for us to use. In the meantime, the solar fleet is going to go to Roland Storm and bring. Uh, and bring death upon the uh, Corzine Collective. Inside this part of space I really have no intentions of occupying them, I simply want to invade them and destroy every single remaining trace of their people, and that's exactly what we will be doing. Let's see what they have. Oh, it's, it's a cute little bird thing that has a gigantic gun. What he doesn't have in height, he makes up for firepower, in, in firepower. It's kinda cool. Yep, shipping goes on here, medium transport is dropping food at the ice planet and at the uh, other planet as well, which is rather nice. Build another warehouse here, and then a hydroponic farm. Uh, sorry about that sound. It's just that my ears are really uncomfortable right now. Chain is doing well. This planet is also doing well. We have a decent amount of uh, production going on. Production that they will spend on building Imperial offices, biospheres all around, and a Xeno mine, a spaceport, a research lab, and food center I guess so they'll so our colonies will be expanding over there we're kind of losing a little bit of we're losing actually quite a lot of money rather fast but it should be all right so over here what we're going to do is that we're going to take the orbital bombardment food order them to jump in and these ships should appear any minute now get these ships to jump over there just so that we can avoid fleet collider is that really all the ships that we had? I swear I brought more Where have they been spotted? They have been spotted inside this area. It's not that bad. What do they have? They have an invasion fleet that is actually filled with ground troops. That's yeah, okay. Our ground troops should be able to take care of that, but the main fleet has to come over here and protect that area. Where is all of our uh, cruisers? There we go. What are they taking out? Looks like a fighter or a scout. Okay, well we need to push this... Um... Oh hey, one volley did it. Yeah, we need to uh, start exterminating these people, right? So we will start our conquest. 
uh, starting with orbital bombardment, and we're just gonna push up along their space lanes, and we're just gonna bombard the living crap out of them. Hopefully, if things keep on going as planned, we can just drop one load of uh, orbital bombardment onto them, and then they'll just all die. Invasion fleet over here is probably going to fail. Actually, no, they had they are doing quite a well. Nice job of. Uh, Taking this place over, we need some marines there ASAP. We need some marines at um, on that planet ASAP. So we need to grab all of the marines from here, which will come up. And then we need to just kind of ship them over here and put them around the planet. Yeah, they need to save uh, this planet because those um, those little bug things are gonna advance all over the place. And yeah, they they just took it over. Oh well. Our fleet will have to deal with them. Now that's a big ship. The enemy has cruisers that we'll have to deal with. Hopefully the swarm of metal ships will be able to put enough fire onto it that it dies from the volley damage. Yeah, look at that ship taking that damage. It'll go down. There you go. The problem with the bigger ships is that sometimes they have uh, shielding, and with shielding it's like you, you never know what will happen, right? With the shielding, I mean, if they can't break through the shielding, then it's kind of screwed. Yeah, the sterilization fleet is going to do its job and just essentially pummel the place. Over here, have the space marines arrived yet? No, they haven't. Looks like their incursion fleet is all dead now, but uh, we still have to deal with uh, taking that place over. Are those space marines are arrived yet? No, these space marines are still sitting here. Okay, these marines have to come all the way over here and land on the planet and take it over. That's their job. Well, meanwhile, the troops over here have stomped this planet. That planet is dead. They don't need to bombard the dead planet anymore. And they need to advance further into their space over here. It's a nice big old fleet. I think we'll actually take Rolling Storm away from them. Or no, we don't necessarily need to. I need to check up on what our uh, empire is good at right now because in theory we can actually uh, what we can do with one of these nations is that we can discuss policies with them but then what we can do is because we are powerful we can propose we join our two empires with a um, a into a federation so they've agreed to join us inside our federation and you can do that uh, typically when you have an alliance with them and what that means is that Okay, our area was over here. This was our area, or actually they were over here, so now we're kind of blended together. But essentially what just happened was that we gained control of all of their assets. So now they're best friends with us, and we're best friends with them. We gained control of their entire empire. They are under our control now. But the penalties for that is that, the, like, yeah, we had to rebalance their entire economy. Um, since that's a pretty big gap, uh, I will leave that to next episode. You can see that we just 
massively increase the size of our empire and we're going to have to play spreadsheets for a little bit but till then um, things aren't that big of an issue yet we also gained some holdings over here as well well actually before we leave I want to see if we can subjugate or form another um, empire with another one of these races Uh, so the Derelog Council will join us in an alliance if the Crossing Collective is actually is part of an alliance. Let's see if we can uh, see if we can join up with anybody else actually, but it doesn't look like we can. So that's all we, we all we can do today. We still made a pretty nice gain on our uh, space empire. So with on that note, I guess I'll leave you guys off. So as always, be sure to like and subscribe to the videos and to my channel. And I'll see you guys later on.